Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make all over print t-shirt on Printful. Once in Printful, all you'll need to do is tap on add product. If you have not created a store that you would like to upload it on as yet, you can do that. You have a few options. For example, if we were to select stores from the left hand menu option, from here you can choose to either connect it to Etsy, Shopify, Equin, or numerous other platforms that you can upload your t-shirt design on. For this example, I'll be adding it onto my Shopify store. So once you have selected the store you like to add it to, you're going to tap on add product. Then from the left hand menu option, you can select whether you like to create men's clothing, women's clothing, or kids clothing. I'm going to be selecting men's clothing for this example. Then you can select all over shirts as you can see right here from the left hand menu option. After selecting all over shirts, you can select whether you like it to be long sleeve or you want it to be the crew neck t-shirt as you can see right here. You have quite a few options that you can choose from. So let's say for example sake I would like to use this option. So we are going to tap on the crew neck t-shirt. After selecting the crew neck t-shirt, you are now going to add your design. If you haven't created your design as yet, you can use a platform by the name of Canva for completely free to create t-shirt designs. All you'll need to do is create an account on Canva which is completely free as I said earlier. Then you'll type in t-shirt logo in the search bar and you'll be presented with numerous logos that you can quickly customize and make your own. Once you have done that, you can go back into Printful, then tap on Upload right here. After you have done that, you can tap on Upload New File in the top right hand corner and you could upload your design. Now let's say for example sake, I would like to use this logo right here. So I'm going to tap on Apply. After you have tapped on Apply, you can see it right there. Then all I would need to do now I can simply tap on back and I'm going to be adding the same design to the back. So I can tap right there and I'm going to be adding the same design. So I'll tap on apply once more. And if I would like to add it to the left sleeve, I could do that by tapping on left sleeve. Then from there, I could tap on upload. And again, I could upload the same design. So let me do that right there. So you can see right there. You can also add it to the right sleeve. You'll tap on right sleeve, then you'll tap on upload design, and you're going to be adding the same design. Once everything is to your liking, you can simply tap on continue in the bottom right hand corner. After you have tapped on continue, you can choose whether you like it to be a white or black t shirt. So I'm going to be selecting white, then I'll tap on select. After you have tapped on select from here, I would recommend that you select basic mockups. But if you have experience creating mockups, you can tap on create your own. Once you have done that, you can choose the mockup that you would like to use. So you can see you have a few options that you can select from. So once you have selected the mockup that you would like to use, you are going to tap on continue in the bottom right hand corner. So let's do that. After tapping on continue from here, you can edit how your product title will look. So you can tap on product title, you can edit that. You can also edit the description to your liking. And if you'd like to add tags, you can do that. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue and then you'll be able to set up the price. So you can arrange your price right here and the percentage that you would like to make. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on submit to store and you can see the product is being pushed to the store. Once the product has been added to the store, depending on the platform that you have chosen earlier, you can go into that platform and you will be able to view the product. Now to view the product, all I'll need to do is tap on edit in Shopify and you can see it right here. So for example, if I were to tap on preview, you can see how it looks. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.